Give me one thing you love, girl, that makes you hurt And I'll be there ten days before you call My power to make it subside Thank you. 
It's always been you, my
now pronounce you husband and wife. Grace, you may kiss your beautiful husband. <laughs> Friends and family, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you, for the very first time in their new relationship as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Tony Sito. Congratulations. Like everybody else does Forget about your friends They don't care where we go If they do, we'll get lost in a crowd I finally found you I have been looking for you forever, baby We go together, baby I'm drunk as fuck and my song comes on And the club goes nuts Every problem I go, sit to your sleeps, best that y'all know Running around and doing all these shows, round the whole globe I come for you, go girl, ain't you need to think of it Just ride for the night, baby, live a bit With a place to hit, and your pants is in We can make this thing a party or you in Give me the green light Give me just one night I'm ready to go right now I'm ready to go right now I'm checking your smile, working you back like it's going out of style. Shake just a little bit faster, shake just a little now, girl. I'm dying to meet you, so let's mess around. Got an obsession, but I'm getting down. Come just a little bit closer, I just need permission, so give me the Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we want to welcome you to MetLife Stadium. At this time, we have some very special people to introduce. We would like to ask you all to please rise up out of your seats. And I want you to focus your attention right this way. First up, I want you to make some noise for Tony's parents Make some noise for them, show them some love. Next up, make some noise for Grace's parents, Ye Shin and Kong Ping. Now I want you to make some noise for Sue and Mike. Did he just spike the bouquet? That's classic. Give it up for Diana and Pooh! Let's hear it for Elena and Jeffrey! Make 
make some noise for Karen and Jason. Let's hear it for Cindy and Dorian. 大家不能不能就来了第五队的伴郎伴娘 Now, I want you to make some noise and show some love for your matron of honor and your best man, Cherry and Philip. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Make some noise for the reason we all came here tonight. Let's hear it for your bride and groom. Make some noise and show some love for Grace and Tony. Make some noise for them. Show them some love. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for them one more time. Gentlemen, let's hear it for them one more time. You gotta be louder than that. Show them some love. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to call up your matron of honor. Make some noise for Cherry. <laughs> First, on behalf of everyone here, I'd like to thank you, our new Mr. and Mrs. Cito, for having us here tonight at the MetLife Center, no less, to share in your special days. Amazing, thank you. Okay, even though it doesn't surprise me, it does still astound me that we are here at this moment celebrating your union. The fact that your relationship dates back about 20 years ago when we were all young and naive college students, makes yours a love story to rival any of the Penguin classics we were forced to read. Let's go back to the year 1994 or so at the NYU campus. For our heroine, we have the stunning girl with the brains and spirit to match her timeless beauty. She has captivated our hero, the charming boy, who so patiently bided his time until his true love could finally be his. Of course, as in most stories, they aren't without their quirk and flaws. The beautiful girl rarely ever attended her classes. Mr. and Mrs. Chen, you didn't hear that. And she was considered wild and boisterous whenever with her partner in crime, AKA yours truly. 
As for the charming boy, concealed in the midst of all his business courses was Acting 101, a class he enrolled in perhaps to hone in on his charisma, a class he has since conveniently forgotten he'd taken. Once mo what's more, our Prince Charming once interrupted a very nice walk in conversation to buy a fashion magazine of all things because Sarah Michelle Geller was on the cover. Enough said. Still, the budding love was undeniable. Fast forward to two decades later, even with their little peculiarities, through the tactfulness of fate and time, through friendships gained and lost, our two protagonists have finally found themselves where they belong. Here, now, surrounded by the love and support of family and friends as man and wife. Take that, Romeo and Juliet. Gracie, you may not be my sister by blood, but you are my sister in every way that counts. I wish you both every happiness and love. You deserve the best, and you have each other's stuff. Please raise your glasses for a toast to our newlyweds. In the wise words of Lao Tzu, being deeply loved by someone gives you strength, while loving someone deeply gives you courage. May your love continue to strengthen you each day, and together give you the courage to withstand the test of time. Cheers. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Cherry one more time. At this time, I'd like to call up your best man. Make some noise for Philip. speech. I'm not even going to try because obviously I didn't spend as much time as she did on, the, on my speech. Uh, but I did want to say thanks everyone for coming. Um, you know it's a non-traditional venue but it's MetLife Stadium. This is pretty cool, right? Thank you, Tony. Thank you very much for it. Let's get a quick hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to thank the parents of the bride, Mr. and Mrs. Chen. Thank you very much. Grace is a lovely, lovely girl. The parents of Tony, my brother. All right, enough said right there. My parents. They had to put up with a lot, but in the long run, I guess it was worth it. Cheers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now a little bit about my little brother, the groom. What can I say? He knows how to spend money, doesn't he? <laughs> yes, he does. Traditionally, a little brother follows in his big brother's shadow. I think in this case, it's clear to everyone that he's paved his own way. He's made himself quite successful, and he's decided to give back to all of us a little bit in allowing us to come and share his day today. Thank you very much for that. Given the venue of this place, I think he succeeded in giving back to everybody in this room. What do you guys think? How about a hand? <laughs> to the bride, Grace, welcome to the family. My brother is so lucky to have you on behalf of the Cito family. We are so lucky you are still willing to marry him after you got married. <laughs> thank you. I want to personally thank you for that. Thank you very, very much. I'm happy to call you sister. And we have for a long, long time. Today makes it official. Thank you. My brother really doesn't deserve you. <laughs> but I am so happy 
that you chose him anyway. Thank you, Grace. Thank you. Thank you. Let, let me share a quick, quick story. And, you know, I'm really shy and all, but I'll share it. No, I'm not really shy. I, I really love standing here, actually, looking at the wonderful people here. Um, a story about the happy couple. My girls wanted to hang out, you know, in the big, cool city a couple of years ago. They only hear about, you know, New York City from their comfortable suburban lives. They, they never take the subway, they've never been on a bus, etc. But Tony and Grace offered up their time, their hearts, and more importantly, their apartment. It was awesome. The girls got to stay with Tony and Grace for the weekend. They took them everywhere. They took them to FAO, they took them to the zoo, they took them to Roosevelt Island. Basically, a whole great, great weekend. Thank you very much for that. They couldn't stop talking about it for weeks and weeks. But that wasn't even the good part of the story. The good part of the story is when my wife and I came to pick them up on the Sunday. And what do we see? We see in the living room, we see a beat up mattress. We see Tony and Grace sleeping on that mattress so that my kids could sleep on their bed. Now, if that's not sacrifice and that's not love, I don't know what is when you give up your bed for other people. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Now, thank you. No best man speech really should end without giving some good advice. Of course, I don't really have any good advice to give, right? I mean, let's be honest here. So I'll just give you some parting words. Tony and Grace, happy marriage is about give and take and having a short memory. Since I know my brother's memory is quite bad and he is happy to take, I know you guys will have a lovely, lovely, wonderful life together. Let's proudly raise our glasses and toast to the happy couple and their beloved New York Jets. Cheers, cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Philip one more time. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to invite Grace, Tony, and all of the other couples in love to join them on the dance floor. Just keep going, all the way to the bottom.
place right now. Say everybody. Put your hands in the air. to everyone here on behalf of me and Grace. A little disclaimer, Grace did not approve this speech, so it's probably not going to go that well. I don't know what's going on. She doesn't know what's going on. Hold on, stop the music. That is so cheesy. I could never end the party that way. Are you guys ready to get crazy for Grace and Tony one more time? No, no, no. Are you ready to get crazy with Grace and Tony one more time? I want you to take three steps closer to the center. Put those hands high in the air. DJ, give them a beat. Let me hear you sing it, let's go. All my rock stars, put those hands up. Let me see you jump. Let's go. Something's the best if you are wrong. 